Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing let's play of Look Inside the Jars. Or Under Rail as I like to call it. We shall go around the edges here, looking in all these vases. Taking what we can. Really, a vase that has not got anything in it. That's pretty amazing. Anybody interesting here? Does not appear to be. So let's go straight down this way. Oh, first, I want to just quickly check our quest book. So we need to talk about Median Samuel and investigate one of the three divisions of Chort. Let's investigate, uh, well, we'll just take all of the, gee, this place is huge. See if we can find our way around. Holy moly. Investigator, assistant. Okay. Principal investigator, Risa. Investigate a book. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow. Let's go down here. Oh boy. This place is absolutely enormous. Is this dusty? Hell. Well, I'm gonna come back out of there. This place just looks too weird to be true. Okay. So let's go down the next way. I assume this is, yeah, that's red. Interesting. Let's try this way. I can't remember if we just went through there, but either way, this is very interesting. Sadly, investigator assistant. Shortest minister assistant. Ha! That's hilarious. That is the term cautionary tale. Okay. Well, 
this is interesting. I'll open this again just for posterity. This place is absolutely enormous. Octavia. The woman carefully places down a beaker full of purple liquid as soon as you come near. On the table in front of her you see numerous glassware, beakers, flasks and vials. It's all there. She lowers the protective mask, covering her mouth and starts the conversation. Short is evolution. I don't think we've met before. I'm Octavia. Investigator Octavia. Evolution is short. I'm saying my name is Sarah Evenstar. She nods. So how can I help you? Is there a way I can acquire some chemicals around here? Well, I have to be in charge of the chemical inventory, but you'd have to ask our PI. George's for permission. He's in his office right over there. He says yes, then come back to me, sister. Sure, guide you, sister. And you too, sister. You too. Interesting. That's Principal Investigator George's. Do I think it's him I need to talk to? Can't get in there. And get in here. A quick save. Okay, I assume that hacking means that if I tried hacking, I would all go horribly wrong. So, back off here and back out here. Let's try this way. Honestly, I'm having a real difficulty in figuring out where I'm going. Because the Institute of Chort is enormous. Let's go into the classes first, take that. Take that and turn off the light before we leave. Anything here? No, no. Don't mind me, just then, Mr. Percival. Sixty six batteries now. Wow, and the shortest rope. that I collect there. I've already got plenty of EMP grenades. 
don't have many of those though. Taking all the low hanging fruit. I'm still trying to find this shop. This looks like it has possibilities. Jesus. So I've got to go and talk to this guy first. Let's talk to me and Sam. Well, we even had the chance to say anything. One of the two men points at you and speaks in a familiar, enthusiastic voice. Ah! So you and Star, good of you to find a shop. I, I mean, the median and I were just discussing how you retrieved the reaching man from the clutches of those devolved inbreds and... Be afraid to shoot this cut short by a resolute voice coming from the other man, one who's different and arguably more elaborate uniform markings introduce someone of, introduce as someone of superior rank in the shortest hierarchy than a freighter Denzil. One of the symbols, an eye with three equidistant tentacles pointing out of it is similar to the one on a freighter Denzil. It's bearing the sick, bearing barring the extra tentacle. Silence. I've heard it already, and our sister already knows it from first hand experience, no. Shall I even start? My immediate Sam, second in command of the Preservation Forces of the Institute. Chort, welcome to my office. Chort is evolution. I see you're learning very fast. I like that. Quick adaption. Adaptation. Now, I need you to wait a few moments for me to finish with your freighter and send him away. This won't take long. Your ability? Median? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? Send me away? But let me explain it, Efreto. As soon as we're done here, you're going to take your SF4 unit and lead them to patrol the upper land rail. Routes W1 through N5. Theft of the reaching man revealed how susceptible we are to having our couriers intercepted by the likes of lunatics and other inbred low lives. How the area surrounding the Institute secure at all times. At all times. Infuriation seeps from the Efreto. His body language reveals it, yet before a, just before a plan to the median, he calmed down, as if ice-cold water was poured on his head. But the anger washed away, what is left is but great distress. Your notability, I worked hard with Sarah even start to locate and retrieve this reaching man, to bring it back in time for the anniversary, as is my duty to the Institute to Aiden and Chort. You realise that yes, I know you do, yet I'm rewarded for my for my hard work by being sent on what? Meaningless patrol? Hard work? Don't make me laugh, Alfredo. If idling away in front of the Institute gate and waiting for a passer-by, a complete stranger to ask for help constitutes his hard work, then by all means you deserve a promotion. No, perhaps you could even replace me if that is what you desire. That is not how it happened, Medient, I will see you. Silence! I don't want to hear another word from you, Afraida. Did you really think that your babbling and bootlicking would make me forget how the whole situation was handled? Yes, even though the figurine is back in our hands, it is not because of you, but because of a chain of very fortunate events. And the help of Sarah Evenstar, who, by that chort, did a lot more than you. Now out! You have your orders, to Freighter. Chort guide you. Overflowing with disappointment, the Freighter leaves with a barely audible farewell. Chort guide you, your nobility. Wait for the Freighter to leave. Okay. We basically have to just remember our manners. Sir Evenstar, I'm really sorry you had to take part in this. I have zero tolerance for such, I don't even know how to describe it, incompetence. That is the adequate term. Now you, on the other hand, are exactly the opposite. You adapted yourself to the situation at hand beautifully, culled the lunatic vermin and retrieved the valuable figurine and achieved your goal. 
You became a member of our beautiful institution. Perfect. Survival of the fittest at, the, at its best. No? Now, I've been dying to meet you. Not literally, of course. Let us leave that to someone else. Ha! Huh. I have work for you. Test, if you will. But if you have some questions before we start, feel free to ask them now. What can you tell me about the West Wing? I hope a nobility prepest or uh, maybe uh, didn't miss warning you about the West Wing. No? Well, uh, now, sister, the truth is that a warning is the only concrete information that you can get regarding the West Wing. So our truth is we don't know what horrors exist in that wretched place. And after what happened more than 30 years ago, we weren't too eager finding out. What happened 30 years ago? It's a long story. We should visit the preposter for that. No? Tell me about the preservation. Preservation is one of the Institute's divisions, the one concerned with preserving, short. This institution and all its members. Our ASIFORs are among the best trained troops in that rail. Only we haven't had the chance to show it to outsiders, no? He laughs. How do I become a RASIFOR? First thing is dedication to Institute of Jordan's ideology. Without it, everything else becomes meaningless. Second is hard work and rigorous training. Without it, not one will not be able to perform its duties within preservation forces. Third and final is adaptation to any and all the situations that RASIFORs might encounter. And it covers everything. You can tell me about the faceless. You can tell me, tell me about Harmust. Harmust Davros commands all preservation forces and relays his orders to a median, which is currently me, who then relays them to the troops below. His Excellency is a wise man with years of experience and a great sense of strategy. He was a student of Monsignor Martial after the old no. Let me ask you something else. What about the faceless? Oh, the faceless are arch nemeses, he laughs. They are! From the very beginning of the Institute of Jort, the Faceless were poking their augmented noses into our business and try to hamper our progress. They are violent, cannot be reasoned with, and they don't even have free will. I'm not over-exaggerating. They never show any emotion or independence. They just cull, cull, cull. We know it, and we have seen it. It's going to give you a lot of trouble. They try, or tried. The first years of the Institute were the hardest for us. We hadn't had strong foothold in the deep caverns, and defending Jort from the corrupted was very difficult. We were in constant conflict, shedding blood on a daily basis. Then, in year 42, we took a decisive victory in the Battle of Nucleus. Our most Martial commanded our Rassifors and gave the Faithless a lesson in warfare they'll never forget. Have they left you alone after that? Sounds pretty epic. It was a glorious time to be a Chortist back then, and many of our Monsignors lived during that time. For instance, during that period, Investigation 2 had its Monsignor as head of the division. Episcopos and fear, but I digress. We should turn to the Faithless, no? They never mounted any major assaults against the preservation forces since that defeat. In the next 60 years, only irregular skirmishes were a sign that they were still alive. I don't even believe they've shown their trophic bodies in 10, maybe 15 years. Until now, when they assaulted Core City. About that work you said you had for me. Yes, I can see you're interested in becoming a part of preservation. No. I would just like to see what my options are here. There's so much to be done in the Institute. Very smart. The Institute is indeed a place of possibilities, and I can understand you have so much to learn and so many options to consider. Allow me to present one to you. And let's see what you think of it. I have a simple job for you. You're aware of the destructive force that was the recent earthquake. It did terrible damage throughout Underrail. Unfortunately, the Institute wasn't spared from its wrath either. One of the walls in the utility section a couple of levels below us has collapsed, revealing a passage to a long abandoned. Harpocrates Station. Minor damage, all things considered, which is lucky for us. However, it poses a security risk, as you may have already guessed. It was actually recently discovered, for the breach happened in one of the locked rooms no one entered for a long time. We hadn't noticed what had happened until, well, I can't remember who it was, but someone went there and witnessed the chaos. Naturally, a RASA4 unit was dispatched to scan the area, and it was free of threats at the time. When, it later, when we later checked some of the old plans, however, we noticed that Utility Station 7, west of Hapokrat's Kratis main hall, had a long tunnel, leading somewhere far away. Pipeline goes through it, so the plans show, but I'm worried about something else coming through. You understand me, no? I'll need someone to explore that utility station and secure it. Someone. He smiles. I'll check out the station. Just tell me how to get there. Go down the stairs by Iden's library, and you'll see a couple of Rassifors. I'll give you the key and let you through the station. There's another set of stairs further to the right, but do not go down there. It's a utility area which suffered a few gas leaks after the earthquake and is currently unsafe. That is all for now, sister. Come back once you're sure the area is secure. Short guide you. Perform the shortest salute. Short guide you to immediate. Okay. 
Young woman welcomes you by putting her hand on her chest and it follows with a verbal greeting. Her bright, high-pitched voice sounds pleasant and matches her prettiness, pet, petiteness perfectly. On the other hand, the full combat uniform she's wearing, complete with a mask she never removes, a characteristic you noticed in all Rassifors throughout the Institute, for it to different if conflicting visual image. Chort is evolution. I am afraid I am armory keeper for the Institute of Chort. Your Syrian star, if I'm not mistaken. Evolution is Chort. Yes, I am. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Sarian Star. Under me and Samuel's direct orders, you are allowed access to the Preservation's Armoury, despite the fact you're not a Rassifor. Yet. Of course, Armoury access is not free, so prepare some Sharons before making a purchase. I'd like to see what you've got in the Armoury. Oh, goody. Let's shuffle all of these babies around. Um, you can have the basic frag grenades, and if I have them, any basic high explosive grenades. Actually, no, it's four grenades. Still, let's split those down. Um, now then, let's see what you have here. Now, I am wearing insulated anti-rifle overcoat, 15 grand's worth of it. Here we go. This is what we have been waiting for, people. Where is my... There is my... bit of paper. So, we need... There's a Falchion frame, I need 120. We don't have 120, of course. A Hawker frame. No. All the barrels. Extended mag, which we already have. Harbinger frame. No. A Reaper. 120, that's a 91, that's 107. Oh, we're so close. Impala frame, 115, that's 82. 98 Jackrabbit. God damn it. 98, oh, for fuck's sake. Chimera, two Chimera frames. We are so, 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 so close. So, so close. Oh, I feel so annoyed. Okay, what do you got? Shield. Wow, your shields are much, 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 much better than ours. 4, 14, 64 conversion rate and dissipation okay <sighs> all right what do 
I got here? Hazar, which is a 15 to 59. to 58 16 to 61 oh I might have to I might have to I might have to mine has don't know anything on it so Let's you, 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 and now you. You don't want to buy a gun? Fine. Sixteen to sixty one. Beautiful. Let's load you up. Let's see what your sniper rifles are like. Forty to a hundred, fifty five to one three nine, fifty five. So close quarters precision four minus forty minus thirty. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, 55 to 139. Yeah, 40, and this is 45, huh? Right, so... So let's. You're on 8.6. Now I need to get rid of all my 12.7s now. You buy bullets. You can have all my 12.7s. And I'll need a bunch of your 8.6s. Considerable. What else does he want? Nothing much. Okay, what else do they have? Just those. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's not a huge, not huge improvements. Nineteen to fifty-nine, sixteen to sixty-one. Not huge, but the action point cost is is good as well. It reduces that, and it's 
got double the uh, yeah yeah I'm liking the look of that five less AP right okay let's leave this dump I'm not really interested in that now I want to sell my my stuff now I came in this way I went up the stairs and so I need to go down the stairs We got, got to go to utility station seven. Investigate departments. Yeah, yeah. Let's go up this way. <clears throat> Let's ask to be let out. No oh, intercom here. to leave the institute building private matter to visit settlement oh we went quickly ah oh, shit sorry I forgot ball sacks by Metro, Core City, Merchant Area, Four, well, I mean we've got what are you doing? So much money. It just seems completely pointless not to uh, not to to buy these upgrades when we can. Oscar. I'll sell that. Um, pop you up there. And you up here. Brass knuckles. What else can I sell you? What else do I need? You got anything I need? No, sadly not. I suppose I could try and Yeah. Try and get rid of you. Otherwise, it's just you. everything there and I'll just dump stuff in here then okay so let's get rid of you 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 and for the time being you 
that's everything. Yeah, that is annoying. Right, what do I got cash wise? Twelve and a half thousand of those, a few hundred of those things. Weird. So, what we need to do is try and find utility station seven. So let's head back to the Institute. And we'll try and go, go down there. Okay. Honestly, I think we have uh, Dankeschön. I think we have done reasonably well. Let's sit down here. We need to go down either way. No, that's that's definitively not where we need to go. The lower reaches. Now these are the lower reaches. They should be relatively simple. What is X square for? No problems. It needs to be in a locked room. That's talk to this guy. in here. Lazy Lau. An old bald man welcomes you with a wave and a wide smile. He wears dark glasses which perfectly conceal his eyes. In turn his smile reveals more than it perhaps should. You notice the man to be almost completely toothless, yet those few teeth cl cling on somehow. Allow him to speak with surprising clarity. Unfortunately they did nothing to save his interlocutor from receiving a spit shout every time he opens his mouth as it happens to be happens to you right now. Short is evolution, sister. I'm lazy. La, that's what they call me. Evolution's short, brother. I'm sorry, even star. Cool, cool. I finally got a bedmate. Bedmate? Yes, yeah, this is our bed. He points to the double next to him. So this is our bedmate. Our bed, bedmate. I've been sleeping alone for two weeks, and now I have a bedmate. You want top or bottom? I slept on top so far, but if you want our top, I'll go bottom. But I'm a woman. Aren't we supposed to be separated from you? Trotters do not segregate genders, which is unusual. I mean, I too was baffled by it when I got here, but I got used to it quickly. I'm sure you did, Lyle, and I'm sure it was tough. Um, yeah. He continues after an awkward pause. Hey, if that all makes you feel uncomfortable, I can close my eyes when you undress. Anyway, to answer your previous question. In any case, bottom bed's mine. Whatever you would bed, you wish bed mate. Now you want to chat? Where did you join? Institute short. Well, bedmate, put me out of. The, just let me put it this way. There's a chance you could, how should I say, escape the life of poverty, fill the disease, and a couple of lone hounds waiting to get you skinnier. Would you take it? Of course you would. There's the wrong way. How did you manage to get accepted? Chorda seems pretty selective. And, um, you know what I mean. I don't look the part, is what you're trying to say, bedmate. Yeah, it's true. I mean, just look at my teeth. I could scare burrows away. But Chordas don't care for the superficial, they care for what's inside. Yes, I had this interview with a smoking preposter at media. I told her about myself, answered questions, done tests, gave blood and all that, and I must have said something right because they just accepted me. So what do you do here at the moment? 
I'm a novice date still. But I have some combat experience, so I might go to preservation mode. But I've attended some lectures, and I, I don't know. I still got some thinking to do. We'll see. We'll see. So how are you lighting the Institute of Chore after spending some time there? I'm loving this place more than every person day. Once you get used to a few things, everything being clean, one of the one of those, and as you learn more about Chortism, you start realizing how apex it really is. I've no doubt that Chortists are really trying to direct the evolution of mankind towards something greater. Look at recombinants, for example. Yeah, that's the next step. Why are you called Lazy Lal? You really that lazy? No, I'm not lazy. My left eye is. As soon as he finishes the sentence, he removes his shade with an elegant, overemphasized motion, closing his eyes as if he wants to prolong the moment of revelation as much as possible. Then he slowly opens his right normal eye, pauses, and opens his left one, the bad one. You look at it, and it doesn't look like you, but it's slammed so far to the left that it wants to escape the socket and see what lies behind the head. Lazy Lal laughs in his unusual, toothless fashion, this time spiced up with the laziest lie you've ever seen, creating a unique image you're unlikely to ever forget. He puts the shades back on, and that's why they call me Lazy Lyle, bedmate. Don't you lose your teeth, though, most of them at least. Some miserable bandit knocked my teeth out and robbed me as I was going towards the Institute. In hindsight, I should have taken the train, but my inner cheapskate ended up leading me to a very nasty situation. Damn it, upper under rail sucks harder than a pair of siphons. Don't know how anyone could live here, other than the choice, of course. Chalk guide you, Lazy Lyle. Chalk guide you, bedmate. So where is this? Where is this? Behind a locked door. to assume it's somewhere possibly down here. Um, okay. Below, I need to go below the refectory. And the refectory how do I get there? I, I don't understand. I've got to go below the refractory. This is the refractory. Oh, those are doors. God damn it. Helmet, which I have sadly already seen. What are you? Biocorp University emblem. This way. This is technically stairs up, but where does it lead me to? Interesting. Where do you go? Go 
Guard motions you to hold still and speaks to you in a firm voice. Hold sister, you have entered a restricted area. I will ask you to leave. Short is evolution. Evolution is short sister. Now please leave the area. Short guide you. Median Samuel sent me. No, he didn't, sister. Otherwise we would have known. Please. What is this area? He did guide me. He did tell me to come down here. Or somebody told me to come down here. Maybe it was the wrong area. No. Ah. Stop, sister. The area behind us is blocked off due to earthquake damage. I'm here on Median Samuel's orders to investigate Utility Station 7. In that case, sister, take this key. Utility Station should be on the left of the room where you enter the station, in the far left corner. Good luck and short guide you. Thank you, brother. Short guide you too. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Cop mucker. No, 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 don't shoot the bloody thing. so bad. Mm. Flares. That's a good. Lock picking required for this one. Ugh, crossbows. What you got? Utility station key card. Gonna take that. Just an ordinary doorway. I still the Chaw Institute. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's through here. I want to explore as much of this level as I can first. take them. Should be running out of space. Well, not too soon, thankfully. Let's see what's this way. Glad I bought those extra lockpicks. Nothing of any real interest there, though. Hmm. 
Hacking. I'll take a few bits and pieces. More hacking. This is all about no. This is all about getting my oh, hello. Let's actually reload you now, because I can. Of course. Can I hit you from there? No, I can't. So instead what I'll do Activate shooting spree. Really? And take down two of the mutant dogs at least. Oh boy. That's actually a lot. And this is a lot as well. Really? Um, can I take... Nope. trouble here. Lots of trouble. Um, lots of trouble. Really? Come on. Okay, let's get you up. Okay, I'm having ex Oh, I got the thing. I got that special ability that kicked in. Um, where is it? Where is it? Is it? Where was it? Commando. Killing an opponent using an assault rifle or SMG burst will grant you an extra free burst attack. Ah! So good! Boy, oh boy. 
Um, so yes, I need to reload. Oh, that was so good. Uh, I'm going to aim shot you. Really? Come on. Uh, yeah, that's sadly all I can do. Can I not? No, I can't even do the. Can I do you? Shit, there's three of them. No, no, maybe just the two. Okay, well, you can be taken out with that. Yeah, we should be, should be okay. We can do an aim shot now. Yeah, and that should, should let me bandage myself up for one. Reload for two. And yeah, not one of those. For three. Whew. Not going to bother and take all. Because there's just no point. Really? I'll take it. I don't think there's any real need. Yeah, there's nothing. I said that female, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything? Back here. I'll take those. Toxic barrel, acid barrel, acid barrel, toxic barrel. Quick save. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing I need to worry about there. Okay, well that worked. That's worked out pretty, pretty well. Desk, ruined textbook. Take all of that. Um, let's go through here. there. Okay. Right, well I think I'm going to pause for today here. We've done a lot. We are 
within a thousand points of leveling up, which will be nice. And uh, we'll probably get onto that next time when I when I head through this door here and find out what's there. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, do not worry about it. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.